Hi guys, this is the first of a series of uh, videos that I'm going to do about technique. Today we're going to talk a little bit about alternate picking. Um, let's clear the air a little bit about um, some of the basic stuff that you need to pay attention uh, if you want to see vast improvement at a short period of time. Uh, small disclaimer, please, there are no shortcuts. You need to take the time sit down with your guitar, relax and just do it. There's no uh, hidden trick behind playing fast. Um, so thing number one, the pick. Uh, there are tons of different picks and different companies out there. Uh, and the most common, commonly asked question is what kind of pick should I use? Um, the first answer and the easiest one would be one that suits your needs. Different people obviously have different hands and not everybody holds the pick the same way. So let's start with the kind of pick. The thickness plays an important role. Uh, it's a huge factor that has to do with um, the speed and also it has to do with the sound. So usually thinner picks and harder picks for my hands have more or less the same result. Uh, I'm used to playing with, let's say, stiffer picks at around 1.5 and uh, this is T3. This is the T3 shape. Uh, I love it. I have been playing with uh, smaller picks. I've been using the Jazz 3s for years, uh, for many, 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 many years. Then I moved to the Jazz 3 XL and I'm like, whoa, this is a difference. I couldn't, I wasn't able to play fast using a big pick in the past and uh, in a short period of time I moved from the little Jazz 3s to the T3s which is a huge difference, a massive difference in shape uh, and I don't think I'm gonna change uh, the T3 shape ever. This is for me the best pick on earth. Uh, again for my hands, my style, my playing. So this is thing number one. Uh, so the first advice that I can say is generally go out and try picks, try them, play, see what uh, helps you, how you can uh, perform better, what sounds good, uh, don't forget sound is very important. And also, um, I, in the beginning of the video, I mentioned that I have more or less similar results with um, very thin picks or the stiff ones. Regarding the thin picks, for example, again, same shape, same company, uh, I'm using the 0.5 when I have to solo, for example, on an acoustic guitar because if you're using a stiffer pick, uh, it sounds aggressive and much less musical and you don't want to do that to yourself or to the listener. So uh, I found that this is a very sweet compromise between what I'm used to play and what should be heard and uh, for some inexplicable reason, um, the in-between thickness doesn't help me at all with acoustic for instance so uh, if I want to solo I, I, I don't find I don't have good results with uh, one millimeter thickness so uh, again that's about me and my hands specifically you have to do this on your own go to your local store order a bunch of picks from uh, from them from Amazon from anywhere try them out see what suits your needs let me know what you're using uh, in the comments and uh, yeah, let's keep it real. Let's uh, keep an open line of communication and let's talk. Have a blessed day, guys. Thank you for checking the video out. Talk soon. Bye.